Cleanup continues on the Jersey Shore. A weekend nor'easter caused significant beach erosion. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back. I'm Maurice Dubois. The beaches are battered up and down the Jersey Shore. And workers are trying to replace sand dunes to protect homeowners before another storm hits. CBS 2's Meg Baker shows us the damage left behind after this weekend's wild weather. The storms may be passed, but the tides haven't. Tom's River cleanup crews are still working to move sand into place to protect Ortley Beach homes. After Sandy, everything is almost like a band aid. This weekend storm left an eight foot cliff where the sand was eaten away. The president of the Ortley Beach Homeowners Association says this area is ground zero for big storms because the barrier island is so narrow between ocean and bay. If the hurricane had come behind it, we would have water all the way to the bay. There's no doubt. We've had breaches the last couple. Of days. Mayor Thomas Kelleher says the township is doing all that it can to replenish dunes to buffer homes, bringing in 300 truckloads of sand to add to dunes. Some people say you dump and it goes out to sea. Part of the sand that went out to sea, though, did form a sandbar out here, and that helps break up the wave. So it's not a total, not a total loss. The mayor and others say the only long-term solution is a major beach replenishment project, like the one on LBI, but that can't be completed by the Army Corps. Of engineers until easements are signed. There are 17 holdouts in Tom's River Township. There's still some folks who haven't signed, and if last week wasn't some reason for them to do it, they should come down here and see uh, see what we're faced with here. It's the same story in Brick Township. You have to be careful where you step here. We're on the 8th Avenue Beach in Normandy Beach, where a 40 foot seawall was put in after Superstorm Sandy. Now, today, after the weekend storm, the beach eroded, the waves just hitting this seawall. Obviously, we need two or 300 feet in front of this wall, and we need the wall covered for future protection, and hopefully, they'll uh, be voluntarily signing the easements. A problem up and down the Jersey Shore. In Brick Township, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. And state officials say that 239 homeowners are still holdouts. So